all right we got a one and done msmc only um hopefully we can actually win this this is the finals it is a hundred dollar prize so hopefully we can actually win this i'm pretty sure we will be able to close this out i did use this class in the semi-finals so hopefully we can use this class to excellence and really use it and when he's going to try shooting with the msmc doesn't really get the job done go ahead and plant this bomb hopefully we can actually get this down if we can that'd be good bomb online we do outplay him there. He thought we would actually uh, run around after we planted it. We didn't do that, so we actually do get the kill there and get an easy win. So if you guys can actually watch this and learn something from it, hopefully we can uh, get you guys going in the right path to becoming reflex. But, you know, there's only one reflex, so hopefully we can actually understand that. And that was actually a really good play, and I want you guys to understand that play, not running away right after you plant it and really just taking that extra one or two seconds to actually diagnose the player's movement when they're actually coming to you and hopefully you guys can actually use that in your game and better your game as well so we are going to go ahead and push over here we're gonna hit him with the stun if that does hit him doesn't all right he's gonna try challenging that we're gonna go ahead and rotate around here and really play over here he's gonna be head glitching the bomb so we are gonna go over here we're gonna make him one shot and we're not going to challenge this. This is one thing we do not want to challenge it just yet. Go ahead and crawl. Make him waste a couple of bullets. We're good. We're good. Let's go. Good play. All right. There we go. So it's really just the science of the movement, like letting them know, hey, I'm not going to get on the bomb here, or maybe making them think, hey, I'm going to get on the bomb. And that's really how you can pretty much reverse psychology it around and really get the win in a crucial round that you guys might actually need. We are up 2-0, and this is the final, so that's pretty good. Always good start when you go up 2-0 or multiple rounds right out of the gate. It really makes them nervous, and the key whenever you go down rounds is to really just keep composure, and you guys will actually be able to come back. Operation ready point. Search and destroy. Now we can play for this RC. I think we might be able to get the bomb down if we fake going to B. We go ahead and run all the way to B and then we cut back and maybe try to go through the middle um, and see if this works. And it does look like it's going to work. Go ahead and stun him a couple of times. Really shoot through there. Not going to get him. Go ahead and play for the RC. He's probably going to try nading it, so we are going to go ahead and rotate all the way to A. And this is really going to frustrate any player. Whenever you just quit planning and you rotate all the way over on people, that really does make a lot of people angry. A lot of people really get mad over that um, sort of thing because of the way that it actually is in the game. And he does pre-fire me. Good play by him by pre-firing that. Um, us not being overly aggressively early in the round really did cost us the gunfight and stuff like that. Really good reaction time out of him right there to pre-fire it. I should not have just kept going out like that. I really should play back a lot slower. We should not even play for the RC. Should just play and see what happens. So we're going to go back to doing what we were doing. And we're not going to really overly push anything. And we're not going to try to do anything weird. You know, why did we even try playing weird in the first place? I mean, if it's working, it's working. Let's see where he's going. He's going right down middle. Trying to get into that initial gunfight. He does not. He's going to go ahead and go to B. And we do have stuns, so we are going to throw a couple stuns, and we're not going to hit him. So, he is probably going to play this again. Bomb active. Okay. See, what a play right there. The movement right there really does throw him off. Anytime he gets around the bomb, we really do close that out. And we box out really well. And if you're boxing out really well, they're not going to have anywhere to go. Like right there, he was so scared to move. He did not know even where to go. He did not know up from down. And it really does win us the game right there. Switching operation ready point. Alright, we are up 3-1, so we're going to go ahead and see what we can do here. 
like I said, we do not really need to play like any differently than what we have been playing because that was working. I made the mistake earlier on in the rounds of really trying to be different and trying to be, you know, cute, I guess you would say, with the movement. He does have tack masks, so we do know he has tack masks. I'm going to go ahead and rotate around on him. We're kind of going to play for this pick here. He is going to try to do what he has been doing to like a really good ability, and that is, you know, really just trying to wait me out go ahead and see bomb is armed okay he's not gonna come up there I know what we're gonna do go ahead and jump up right here and we're just gonna make him think that we are behind it we don't want to make him think that we are on top of it we want him to think that we are behind it on the ground that way he can run up Now we're going to switch up and go ahead and go to just the long barrel and the quick draw and grip because that's really what's going to position us to win. If he comes around through here, we can tap him up if he pushes. He's not even moving, he's always just sitting back there trying to make us play little more aggressively than what we are and we're not going to do that we're just going to play slow he's going to push up we're not going to push up because he might need it and now we are hurt so we really can't challenge that go ahead and play over here just a little bit he's going to go all the way to a and he might actually be able to get that down if he does get there before i do which he does just in time check your time lock. Let's go. Good plays by us laying down like that. That way he can't hit us. And really kind of out positioning him. Not really good aim on my part. But whenever you have a player that's really nervous. Like he is. You don't really have to have good aim to actually kill them. You can pretty much do anything you want. It is 4-2. Hopefully we can actually close this out. If we can win one offense we will be alright. We'll be in good position. We'll 6-2 him. And there's not going to be really any th reason why we should not do 6-2 uh, him. I'm going to kind of wait right here. I'm going to go ahead and run all the way over here. And really go down and kind of bait him into pushing me. Okay, I want to see if he will cut this corner. As you see, he is moving a little bit. If he cuts it, I will be able to pop up and probably three shot or two shot him, depending on the bullet rag. He does move. He's trying to get that angle on me. Time's almost up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and rotate all the way over to A. Or all the way over to B, my bad. If we can get this down, we'll be in good shape. And we do die after we get it down. So tragic trying to plant with the uh, radar on. Bomb offline. We lost that round, but it's not over yet. We needed that round. Uh Switching sides. 4-3. Hopefully we'll be alright. It's 4-3. We're not really doing anything bad. We're just planting and not planting, so to say, when we should plant. So We're not going to die by that nade. We are going to lay down, and we're going to tap him up. We're going to make him one shot. And we are going to push all the way through. Jump up top here. 
I want that gunfight, and that's why I want that gunfight right there, because I know my gun skills a lot better than his, and he's really only killed me after I planted the bomb. So, if I get that gunfight, I'm taking it, and that's where you really have to push overly aggressively on defense, and I've explained this to you guys in multiple different tournament videos and stuff like that. Um, you're going to have to, like, make adjustments, and with that being said, if you make adjustments, you'll be all right. So, Eliminate the objective. we're going to take this, and we're going to go all the way to B with this. And the reason we're going to go all the way to B is because I know my gun skills a lot better than his. And I know I can outplay him on this. He is going to try to nade me. He's not going to be able to nade me though over here. I, yeah, I can't jump up there. I thought I could, but I couldn't. So now we're going to... Okay, we are one shot. We are going to go ahead and rotate over all the way to a last time we pushed all the way through this could work and it does work let's go what a play what a play so you're gonna have to make adjustments guys six three this was a hundred dollar prize <sighs> what attorney uh good plays by him uh good game to my opponent he just made a lot more mistakes than i did and he was really nervous and uh, i could see that in the game that he was really nervous so just don't be nervous guys we got $100 right there, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tournament video. Um, if you guys want to see more like this, I will record a lot more tourneys as we do play. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, stay happy.